What's up guys, it's Cliff2475 and this is the uh, UTG L96 sniper rifle review. Let's start off with the packaging. The packaging of your sniper rifle is rather simple, it's not very complex at all. Some uh, mild advertisement for what's inside the box as well as your model number. Uh, it comes tightly packed so it doesn't rattle around and any damage to the box is extremely minimal. I've only noticed this small hole right here where it looks like it's been shot. Uh, so n not a really big deal at all. Uh, upon opening up your box, you'll see pretty much what I have here before you now. A small assembly guide for how to put the sniper rifle together. Your warranty information, uh, specifically from Evike, where I ordered mine. Your full metal barrel and trigger assembly. One full metal magazine a sniper sling, your high resistance ABS plastic body, as well as metal tri-rail receiver up front, a pack of sample BBs, and a bag containing various Allen wrenches used to put your gun together, a speed loader, and an adapter for your speed loader. Also included is a pack of silica gel, you should not eat this, and an unjamming rod down there. Assembly of your rifle is really quite simple. All you have to do is take your plastic body and your metal trigger box and barrel assembly and slide them into place together, like so. Then all you have to do is flip it over and use the large type Allen wrench that came included with your gun and then tighten down the two set screws located directly behind the trigger right here and behind your magazine well right here alright guys so now that you know what uh, comes in the box and how to put it all together so that it actually works now we're going to go over cost and the reason why we have to go over cost is because there's no set cost for this rifle it's all up to you guys what I mean by that is at evike.com where I got my rifle from uh, the body barrel basic parts are $130. You have the option of adding a scope for another $30. This is a Evike's special 4x9 variable zoom uh, scope and a bipod for another $20. So 20 for the bipod, 30 for the scope. Bipod is made out of full steel, manufactured by UTG, comes with like the adjustable feet and pulling it up and down of course. And like I said, the scope is made by evike.com, full steel, comes with half-inch scope mounts that attach to your metal rail platform very nicely. Comes with a yellow-tinted scope cover set, which I don't like, but same difference. And uh, it's a very solid scope. Anyway, now that we've kind of gone over the customization and uh, money options, you can go to the back of the gun, and we will start reviewing the gun itself. In the back, you have your rubber butt plate, back plate thing. This is adjustable by the two screws in the back, Allen wrenches. Fit the largest type Allen wrench that you were given. Uh, just loosen them up, pull it out, and you can uh, either shorten or lengthen the length of the butt plate. The two Allen wrenches on top out of the three are for adjusting your cheek rest. Loosen them up, pull the cheek rest up and down, and uh, you can adjust that so you can look for your optics better if you choose to get optics. Um, you have a very smooth ergonomic grip right here. It fits a righty very, very well. Not so much a lefty though, because it's designed for a righty. It's uh, slightly uncomfortable. And uh, moving forward, you can see that is a this is a righty uh, rifle because the bolt is on the right hand side. Pulling it back, it goes back uh, really smoothly. It goes forward even more smoothly, and uh, has to be put down to fire. So you can see not going to let me fire because the safety's on. Turning the safety off, rifle fires nicely, uh, it's very quiet, when the bolt back again, will not let you shoot unless the bolt is in the down position. Uh, moving up, you have your metal top receiver piece. This is a full metal rail, metal um, cylinder, barrel, and uh, trigger box on the inside. 
Um, you have a double action trigger, meaning that the trigger will not be pulled back unless your finger is on the middle section of the trigger to move it back and forth. Uh, just a safety feature, it's very nice. Um, and then on the bottom, you have your mag. Your mag is spring-loaded, comes out very nicely, very quickly, so you're not spending a lot of time trying to uh, pull your mag out with your fingernails while being shot at. It holds 30 rounds, um, it is made out of metal, except for the top part right here, which is in fact plastic. Uh, your hop-up is located behind the mag release, right down in there, very small Allen wrench. Um, I'll have a close-up in that corner. Uh, you have a bipod lug right here if you choose not to get your UTG bipod and a steel sling mount in the front and in the back. Uh, if you are planning on using a sling with this, which you might have to, this rifle weighs 11 pounds, so smaller players beware and uh, you might want a sling. The sling that came with this rifle was garbage, broke within about five minutes of me using it, couldn't, it just couldn't take the weight of the rifle. So if you're planning on carrying this around a lot, uh, get a better sling. Anyway, the button right here in front of the bipod lug pulls your tri-rail adapter out. Your adapter is made out of metal, and you do not need to buy the bipod to get the adapter. It has three standard rails on it for a bipod, flashlight, laser, or a combination of both. Fits in nicely, and yes, it does do this. It's not loose, you're, you don't have a dud or a, a lemon. Um, it's supposed to do that. Don't ask me why. Finally, you have your metal barrel and your orange tip. Well, a lot of people complain about the orange tip. It's ugly, it doesn't look cool, stuff like that. Fortunately, this tip comes off very easily. A uh, hair dryer and a pair of pliers. Just heat up the glue with the hair dryer for a few minutes, take the pliers, break the glue seal, and then you can just screw the tip right off. Um, looking down the barrel of my gun, you can see that I have my inner barrel right there. I believe it is a 6.02 or 6.03 millimeter inner barrel for high precision, very accurate. Uh, it's gold, and yes, you can extend your inner barrel because you can get an adapter for this and then get a suppressor or flash hider or tracer unit, whatever you want to put on the end to either cover up an inner barrel or just make it look cooler than having your ugly orange tip. Finally, I have to go over FPS. FPS is always determined on what kind of BBs you want to use and how you use the gun. Right out of the box, I was getting about 480 with 0.3 gram BBs, which is my sniper grade BB. With 0.2s, you can hit 520, 540, uh, brand new out of the box. Now that I've taken this to a few matches and used it a lot, I am guessing it goes around 4... 450, 460, uh, still. So, not not too bad. Not too bad for a non-upgraded rifle. I'm going to move on to the shooting test, as well as the accuracy test for this, and conclude the review. Alright guys, to wrap up this review, I'll be taking some shots at four targets. The first being at 25 feet, one of those black squirrel baffles. At 50 feet, the ladder, just in front of my shed. At 100 feet, a soda can sitting on that rock in front of that tree I'm focusing on and then at 200 feet way back in the woods that soda can that the cross ends are on so 200 feet 100 feet 50 feet and 25 feet And my can just fell down. Alright guys, so this has been the uh, UTG L96 sniper rifle. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the review. As you can see, I got the first three shots pretty darn accurate. Uh, I hit them all on the first try. The baffle, the ladder, and the first can. My second can at 200 feet just fell over because of the wind. So I can't exactly shoot it for you guys. But 
it's a pretty accurate rifle. It's uh, very cost affordable. I like it a lot. And I would definitely recommend it to all you guys out there who are uh, looking to get your first sniper. I am uh, Cliff2475. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And as always, have a nice day. See you guys later.